Well, hello there, Retro PC Durham. Chris here with yet another video and yet another tower machine. Although this one's a little bit, I don't know, a little bit different. Otter, I don't know what, what you could describe it as. This is a uh, kind of like a mini tower or slim tower design system. Um, kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, <laughs> compact in its design. Uh, it's an older machine. This is an, this is an Windows XP era machine um, that's obviously it had some upgrades to it so we could be able to make it run, um, but it was in pretty bad shape. So we'll you know kind of take a look and you can see here this plastic casing here was broken and this is where an optical drive previously would have been installed. However, the entire enclosure that would have held that optical drive is missing from the system. Um, I don't know, someone like ripped it out, Ugh, it's muscles. Um, so yeah, it's 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 a little bit worse for wear. It's seen better days, but structurally it's still intact and we're able to, to use it. So um, let's flip around to the back here and you can see this uh, slim design uh, at work here. We've got a pretty full system board here, a combo keyboard mouse port. Then we've got our USB combo video outputs as well as an HDMI output, full um, audio, a lot of USB, there's even a firewire output, it looks like here. A little bit of extra fluff that's been gathered up on my floor in the last couple days. Um, and then it even, this obviously must have been some kind of business machine because it's even got a set of keys here to lock the, uh, the, the panel here for taking off the side panel. Anyways, um, we'll give you the top down view and we can see what's going on inside this machine now. So top down, we've got some pretty interesting stuff going on here. So we've got an AMD based processor. This is a gigabyte board. It's a GA-MA785GM-US2H. If you're interested in knowing which board it's got on here. Uh, SATA 2, DDR2 memory. I got four gig worth of RAM in here. We've got the power supply that came with the system that still works. Um, and you can see like this entire enclosure area used to have stuff that would have come out like to here basically and probably had room for not only the optical drive but also a hard disk drive. What I ended up doing was taking this spot here which used to house a floppy disk drive and I worked in a hard disk drive into this place as well and made some you know kind of changes internally to keep this thing from moving around because the the enclosure here wasn't really meant to hold a a hard disk drive properly. So we had to make a couple of adjustments to make that work. Um, it does have room to add a GPU in here and it would be a full height GPU because the, the this is not a like ultra slim. So it's not a, a low profile uh, design in terms of the case. So you could fit a regular size GPU in here. Um, again, having one that was available and it even has one of these PCI X 1X slots here as well. So you could add a Wi-Fi, ideally that's what you'd be putting there, is putting a Wi-Fi adapter in if you wanted to add Wi-Fi to this without using like a USB 2.0 Wi-Fi uh, dongle or something. So pretty decent in terms of the design, um, obviously going to be pretty healthy airflow seeing as you know a whole part of the componentry on the front of the system is no longer there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get the top back on here, get it all plugged in, and we will take a look at this on the bench monitor. All right, power button. We still have life. System is still able to boot correctly. So we've got an Athlon X2. So it's an Athlon 64 X2 processor. That's a, gonna be a dual core processor, but again, older technology as with almost every machine that I work on here for the most part um, is a much older machine. Uh, will be kind of the last gasps of Windows 10 capable uh, systems uh, as Windows 11 kind of becomes the new uh, Windows desktop standard. Um, but we still got till 2025 before a system like this is completely obsolete and unable to do um, anything that is supported without moving to a, a Linux platform, which hopefully by 2025, uh, Linux will have finally reached the maturity of being able to run as a traditional um, uh, non-computer savvy operating system for desktop environments. So deliver the same type of environment that you can get from a, a tablet or a smartphone experience, but on a desktop, um, not necessarily having to be a cloud-based experience though, like you get with uh, uh, with like a, a Chrome Chromebook type uh, setup. All right, after a, <laughs> after a considerable wait to uh, get all of the sensors read, we are now up and running in hardware info so we can show off this Athlon 64 X2 4400 Plus processor. It's a dual core, non-hyper-threaded 
a base uh, 2.3 gigahertz processor. Again, uh, older, so it doesn't have a ton of the uh, chipset uh, features and instruction sets that a more modern processor has. And that's part of the reason why older processors like these don't run very well on newer systems, because the most latest and greatest system is going to be looking for these instruction sets like AVX, AVX2, AVX512, that this simply doesn't have. So uh, storage wise, we've got a 500 gig Hitachi drive in here. It's running on uh, six, uh, three, gigahertz per, three gigabit per second uh, performance. And then we've got an AT ATI Radeon HD 4200 processor. So that's also known as an RS80, an RS880. And that's using system memory of which we have four gig worth of RAM for one gig sticks. Uh, we could do two gig sticks and get up to eight gig of RAM on this system. And then, as I mentioned, it does have room to add an additional GPU. However, um, I don't know what this power supplies would be able to handle a powered GPU, which means it would need to be something that just runs off of the 75 watts that the PCIe slot gives. So like a, you know, a GT 1030, I think would probably be what you would aim for, for this system um, to, to get some, you know, better performance than what you get off of this integrated graphics. However, um, that Athlon uh, processor is only going to get you so far, right? So, you know, obviously this is a much system that's much better suited to maybe set up as a retro Windows 7 or Windows XP based machine than it is being running as a Windows 10 machine. But again, I'm not trying to set these machines up to use as retro gaming machines necessarily. These are to be donated for people who don't have any computer at all uh, or are trying to like go to school online using an, a, a, um, a tablet that they got for free when they opened a bank account. Uh, so this is gonna be considerably better an experience to be able to sit down in front of a regular computer with a screen and a keyboard and a mouse than uh, you know trying to do all that stuff on a little eight inch fire tablet or something. Anyways, uh, that's the performance we've got on this system running right now. So I'm gonna get uh, Chrome up on the screen here and we are gonna see how it handles Crab Rave. All right, we're gonna try 720p here and see if it can handle. Right away, I can see we get a lot of dropped frames. One third of our frames to one quarter of our frames are dropping. And you know, it's not too bad in terms of in terms of the rest of the performance it is i can see a little bit of hitching going on where there's you know you get that hesitation it's kind of you know microsecond it kind of skips forward uh, but that's not too bad so if i pause here and we drop down to 480p now obviously the quality of the video is going to go down in terms of you're going to see more pixelation because you're running at a lower uh, no lower resolution, but let's see how well this handles our uh, frame drops. We're going to get a couple frame drops as it buffers up because I didn't wait for it to buffer like on the other video. Uh, but yeah, after it's finished buffering here, we're only dropping um, one in every 10 frames, which is considerably better. So that completes my look at this uh, Gigabyte clone based uh, mini tower, mini desktop based machine. I hope you enjoyed watching it. As always, I hope you were staying safe and healthy and we'll catch you in the next one.